Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly add ruled lines to a you know a section or a full sheet inside of Microsoft Publisher. So what I'm about to show you is for the whole entire sheet, but you could use this in any area where you need to create multiple lines and you want them to be evenly spaced. So what you're going to do is from the Home tab, click on Table, and we're just going to do a one by one. Go ahead and uh, put that where you want to, wherever you want to start. For me, I'm doing a full page, so I'm going to go ahead and go up here. I'm going to go back to the Home tab, and I'm going to bump this up to, uh, whoops, not 20. Let's go up to 18 point, and then I'm just going to tab now using the Tab key. It's going to create a new field every single time I hit Tab, and I'm just going to do that till I get down to the bottom of the page. That looks good. With that done, we're going to right click on the border of that table and say Format Table. Now the first thing I want to do is uh, just click this Clear button so it clears uh, any lines that might go in on the page. And I only want to check these lines that are going across, see the dotted lines. I'm going to check that one by clicking this and I'm going to check the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and we'll do a 50% gray, and I'm going to do a half a point. Go ahead and say OK, and voila, we have a lined sheet of paper. One other thing I like to do sometimes, especially if I'm doing a notes page like this, is I will go ahead and create a line somewhere around in here. It can be, oh, let's go a quarter of an inch from the edge of that table. And just holding down the shift key, drag that out to the bottom. And now I can right click on that shape and say format auto shape. We'll once again drop this down to a half a point and I'm going to make mine red and say OK. And check that out. Really simple and quick. We've got a ruled or lined notes page and now you can take that concept and everything that I just showed you you can turn it into you know maybe you just want to do a portion of a page uh, maybe you've got text all over your page in a couple of different columns but you just have one little area that you need several lines to be evenly spaced you can use that same technique alright that is it for today uh, I will see you guys again hopefully on Thursday of this week if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do so give great tips and tricks on using Microsoft Publisher as well as full-on tutorials for uh, creating calendars and planners and custom pages for happy planners and things like that. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.